hello guys welcome back to our youtube channel today's gist is on Lake latunji who is celebrating his wife Fumi latunji who is also an actress in the nollywood industry she celebrated her 36th birthday and of course her husband is so delighted to celebrate her outside the fact that it's her birthday and of course her husband is expected to celebrate her it goes beyond just celebration of for Lekon Latunji they have several reasons to celebrate I mean this birthday could have turned to another morning day for the wife of Lekon Latunji but they have given glory to God as he escaped death and survived multiple injuries in a ghastly accident. Lekon Latunji cannot stop singing praises of his wife. How his wife came through for him when he started his acting career. At some point, he had almost been frustrated as he would go from one location to the other to shoot movies and come back with nothing at hand. Knowing fully well, he has three children and a wife to feed at home. His wife also spoke about that in an interview, explaining that at some point she had to question the kind of people he was working with. That how could they be so heartless not to give him anything to bring home? Knowing fully well, he has three boys and a wife. Well, the highlight of their love story and how they were able to work together as a team to get to where they are today was when Lekon Latunji mentioned that his wife was the one who gave him his first money to make his own production as he explained to his wife that the only way to make money in their line of business is to start their own personal production. And the wife asked him, I hope it's not when I will send you money and you make it in this industry, you forget me and your family. Well, Lekon Latunji stood his ground and told his wife he can never ever forget his family. And today they are both reaping that wonderful decision they both made for themselves and the sacrifice they made for their family as well. If Lekon Latunji had betrayed his wife by dumping her and the kids after surviving such injury from an accident, who would have been there to take care of him? Who would have been there to look out for him? Yes, family and friends will come around, but it can never be like one's partner being there and caring for one. Taking to church to celebrate and give thanks to God for sparing his life and giving his family a new song to sing. His wife was there. And he didn't stop singing praises of how his wife was there for him, taking care of him and looking out for him. Well, celebrating his wife, of course, he has every reason to do that. He had taken to a social media page to ask people to celebrate with him and celebrate his wife. Sharing a lovely picture of his wife, he added a caption saying, Join me to celebrate my darling wife, Ibaudun Ojokoni. Well, in another post, he went ahead to say, Behind my success, there is God and a good wife. Happy birthday to my better half, age with sufficient grace and mercy. I love you so much. And of course, Lekon doesn't hesitate to sing praises of his wife. Saying this, his colleagues, friends, family on social media all went ahead to celebrate with him. Faithia Balogun said, Happy birthday, Yawo. Okpe Emi Ayola said, Happy birthday, pretty Uluriwa. Lola Margaret said, Happy birthday, darling wife. Being back into this said, Happy birthday, queen. Here are things his fan had to say, celebrating his wife. A user said, May this day be the beginning of another beautiful year for you. May there be pleasant surprises, loads of joy, and infinite happiness. Wish you a very happy birthday, Iyaibe. Another user said, Happy birthday wishes to her. Amen. This and several other birthday wishes were filled on the comment section of Lekon Latunji as he celebrates his wife. I mentioned earlier, they both spoke about how they met and how they support each other in their career. Initially, they were not actors, but she explained that it's a passion they both have for the career. Well, speaking about herself, and talking about who she is and the things she has been able to achieve over time she said this in an interview explaining who she is and what she does in a word she said i am omomumi ifedolako olatunji i am married and i have three children all boys I had my secondary school at African Church Grammar School, Abelkuta. I went to Government Technical College for a course, Hotel Management. From there, I moved to Moshut Abiola Polytechnic, where I had my HND in Business Administration. From there to Chrisland University, 
where I had my BSc in Business Administration. I had my MBA too at Lao Tech. And currently, I'm having another BSc course in Estate Management at Chrisland University. I'm a civil servant. I work with the Bureau of Lands and Survey. Explaining how they started acting, she said, Acting has always been a passion for me since my childhood days. I never knew I was going to get married to an actor too. In fact, he didn't even tell me he had a passion for that too. Probably he thought I wasn't going to say yes. It was one day after we were married that he just told me that he had even obtained a form to join an acting group. So I had no choice. I just said no problem. Since he has joined and our children were also just growing up, I had to give him time before also joining him. So later on, I eventually told him about my interest in joining the industry because he knows that has always been my passion i started acting in 2014 when my husband was having a second production entitled agbodo since then i have featured in over 20 movies and i have a production to my name speaking on how she met her husband she said that's a long story but let me share it with you briefly then it was like a big brother to us we used to call him so there was a time i had to move away from home to stay around the school for my hnd Though it was really tough for me, I just told them I needed to move so I would have time for myself. I didn't know I was planning for my future, so I rented an apartment beside Bordalico. He happened to be one of my sister's classmates and he was running a part-time program at Osu. So that my sister of mine would be telling me about a brother who was disturbing her about meeting with me. And I told her to let him come and see me himself. I know the kind of life he was living then. And I was this devoted Christian. So when he eventually came, I was like, you are not even serious. Me? How do you even think I can even date you? Not even talk of marrying you. But eventually, as God will have it, because sometimes we don't know God's plan for our lives. I went for my service year. And surprisingly, after my service year, this brother Lico said he was actually still single and still wanted me. I just told him to go and see my pastor. Whatever they say, and that of my parents was final. And knowing the kind of pastor that I have and still willing to go see him showed him how serious he was about getting married. So he met with my pastor and my pastor said he liked him. And what about me? I said I already prayed about it too and I just wanted to hear from him too. So that was how we got started. We started dating and eventually got married got married on december 22 2006 and the rest they say is history these beautiful couples are doing excellently well in their careers and doing excellently well in their various roles as husband and wife and parents to their children we say congratulations to this family once again god's mercy and favor spoke for them happy related birthday to Wumi olatunji long life and prosperity and guys they have it do not forget to like subscribe drop a comment in the comment section below thank you bye